guys, Dan from eReviews.net here. Today I got the uh, foreign cousin, I don't know how to say it, by Moao Brand, I don't know how to say their name either. I'm horrible. But M U A E. That, I don't know how to say that. Muai Muao. Foreign cousin. That's how I'm going to say it. They are a brand from South Korea and they make some delectable looking kimonos. Um, Honestly, when I first pulled out of the bag, I was like, man, this gi is nice. It's very nice. Very good quality. Looks super, super sharp. I mean, boom, there's a freaking samurai in there. Who doesn't like samurais? It looks sick. Um, I haven't got uh, to where it's a roll yet. Still got the tags on it. Looks fresh. Maybe I'll keep the tags on it. Be all gangster when I'm rolling jujitsu. Like, you know, keep your tag on your hat. Whew, snapbacks. But it looks sick. I really like it. Um, it's 450 grams per square meter. Uh, it's a pearl weave. The pants are 320 grams per square meter. Um, Twills, they're awesome. They feel really soft. Uh, they look really comfortable. Uh, I like Moao. I feel like a jerk every time I say that because I don't know how to say it properly. Um, but... It, it, it's awesome. Every time I see one of these these on somebody, the pants look like they fit amazing, so I'm really excited to get to, to wear it myself. Uh, so right off the top, let's see, talk about it a little bit. Let's see, you got the, uh, it's actually got a ripstop collar, which I like. It actually gives a nice contrast to the, reg the regular part of the gi, the regular part of the jacket, and, and it just looks sharp. It looks really nice on the collar, um, which is, it's weird because there's no actual ripstop on the pants or anywhere else on the gi, but, um, one of the things that obviously stands out is it's got the, <coughs> I don't know if they, it's a South Korean brand, so I'm not sure if you say kanji in South Korea, or even if that's South Korean, or what that means, or anything, I don't know. I'll have to ask them, and put it in our full review, but the embroidery is definitely good on it. Uh, the outside's a little, a little flashy because of that, which normally I'm kind of, a, I like the bling on the inside, not, not on the outside, but some good embroidery up here with the company's name and a, and a lotus flower but and I'm definitely going to give you some close-ups of the inside because the inside looks great. It's, I mean just in everything their presentation they've got like just beautiful nice tags that go with it that are high quality. Uh, this is an A2. Uh, I'll try it on for you. One of the things I noticed was that it was a little scratchy the, the seam tape so I'm going to definitely wash it but it was recommended to be washed before I wore it so I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, and usually washing can tone down any scratchiness that's on a seam tape, but but we'll see, and I'll let you guys know if it is or not. Um, oh, you know what? And I forgot there is actual uh, rip stop on the rest of the gi because on the inside of the jacket, on the sleeves, much like I think Storm does this as well, uh, there's a rip stop that goes back pretty far inside of the actual gi, and they say that makes it harder for people to grip. Uh, I'm not sure if it actually does that or not. I, I don't know anybody who's tested that out and said, oh, I can't grip that as long because it's got ripstop on the inside as an extra reinforcement that goes up the, the gi. Let me check that out real quick. Let's see how far that goes back in there. Boom. So yeah, as you can see, and I'll do a close-up of it, uh, the ripstop goes all the way down the arm, probably to, towards the elbow area, maybe a little past the elbow. And then it's got an extra thick ripstop up here at the top, or extra layers of it with the seam tape, uh, presumably to make it harder for people to grip. I don't know if that's actually the case or not, if it is harder to grip, uh, but it does have thickness there. It wasn't uncomfortable having an actual ripstop on the, on the inside. So um, One of the things I like is that the, the sleeve opening is, is relatively smaller than a lot of geek companies, and that can make it harder for people to grip. Although I like a lot of loop chokes and Ezekiel chokes and stuff, super duper chokes, but uh, and you need kind of opener, more open sleeves to do those quickly if you're not as refined. So, so let's see. We got the embroidery on the back, the embroidery that goes all the way in the front with the the kanji, very nice shoulder embroidery. It just has the company name on it. The uh, interior, huge freaking samurai. This isn't a rash guard or anything. This is this is printed. And the, the ink is dyed into it, so uh, it's. It, I don't think it's like it's like a not like a screen print. Um, it's actually I think dyed into it, so 
But like they, they told me, you have to wash it first because there's some, they might be some bleeding. Wash it on cold, cold, I think. I'll put the instructions below in the comments. There's also this little thing that says, Furin Kazan, wind, forest, fire, and mountain. That's what presumably these four symbols mean. The battle standard of Sengoku, Damyo, Takara, Shinjin, quoting chapter 7 of Sun Tzu's The Art of War. Move as swift as a, as a wind, stay as silent as forest, attack as fierce as fire, undefeatable defense like a mountain. Pretty special. I like the cherry blossoms in there. Ooh, grab these pants. Now the pants, on the other hand, they're relatively plain. I mean, as bling as that top is, these pants are the exact opposite. They don't really have, have much going on in the, uh, in the bling department, but I'm not a big bling guy myself. Let's see, they use rope drawstring. This drawstring is actually relatively thinner than most rope drawstrings that I get, and that it's not tied at the end, which always bothers me. I don't know if people do that. Companies do that because they want people to tie themselves. It costs them more money to get them tied, or if they think you know people have preferences for different lengths. So maybe it can be a good thing if people like you know making the rope shorter, or whatnot. But that's how they come. They have a total of four belt loops, two on each side. One of the things with the belt loops that I always like, as long as it's, you gotta have one that's relatively close to the side vent, because that's where the rope drawstring usually rides up. And companies who don't get something close enough, kills me every time. Uh, much like on the lapel, there's there was a patch that has this nice, beautiful, gold, shiny embro um, embroidery around the tag, and that just looks so fancy. I love fancy looking geese. Looks all pristine. Um, I think, I think the gee goes for around 200. I'll put a big note over that if that wasn't. Tell me I'm incorrect. But one of the things is uh, that maybe I think they could have done better is the knee reinforcements. Are, they only cover a, a relatively small area. I would like to see them go farther down for, for further reinforcement. And, but I haven't tried them on yet, so I don't know how much area they cover. And then they have the same embroidery that was in the back upper neck behind a lapel of the company's logo. And then they also have ripstop enforcement in the pant, but it doesn't go all the way up like on the sleeve. They just have that extra thick reinforcement here, about maybe like an inch and a quarter, inch and a half with their seam tape. That was a little bit scratchy that we're going to wash and see if that'll go away and I'll let you know. But just again, I'll put the top on. You see how it fits. I'm 205 pounds, five foot nine and three quarters, five foot ten ish. They say it is pre shrunk, so it should not shrink more than probably, you know, 0.5 percent or something like that. Oh, it's definitely a little scratchy. I'm gonna fix that. Hopefully, it fixes. I got a little bit of a belly, but it looks like it fits me well. A little IBGF. Boom! Legal. Illegal. Legal. And actually, I think even with my shoulders forward, it, it would be legal on me too, but it feels very soft. It's not stiff. It's actually really light. I thought it was going to be a little bit thicker of a gi simply because it's got all this fancy dancy stuff on it. And, but it feels good. I like it. And uh, we'll have a full review soon at uh, gireviews.net. And you can check more of this out on Facebook too because I'm going to post some pictures there. But uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, wait a minute. People care about the bag. Boom! It comes with a bag. You can put stuff in it. It fit the gi in it. It's really light. I like putting my daughter's toys and stuff in here. My wife has this like Britney Spears bag like this that she wants to take with her toys and shit when we go out. No. Jiu-Jitsu bag. Everybody knows we're serious. It's got the same stuff on it. That's nice. That's it. We'll review soon. Deuces.